Hey, what's up guys? Sorry it's been a little while since I've posted a video. Just kind of been burnt out as far as social media, so I took a bit of a break, but we're back here at one of my flip properties. I'm gonna go ahead and spin the camera around and show you guys around. All right, let's go ahead and head in. So this property I originally bought to use as a rental. It was actually rented out and there was a tenant in it. And uh, when they decided to move out, I just decided to go ahead and sell it, flip it, make a quick profit just because of the way the market is right now. Uh, I think this is the first house I've bought that has uh, like skylights in it. It's kind of weird. Um, just a big hole in the ceiling, <laughs> essentially letting uh, sunlight in. But uh, we didn't do a whole lot to this house. Um, Pretty much just replaced the carpet, uh, painted the walls, cleaned. I had uh, Steve come by and clean the floor. He did a really good job on it, as you can tell. Um, the grout was like completely black before and there were a bunch of spots and stuff. But uh, he always does a good job when I have him come out and do the flooring. So here's the kitchen. Um, Trying to think, I th we did a new fridge and a new stove because the old ones, I think this was black and in bad shape. And I think this was like outdated, but the uh, microwave looked fine. So we just left that. Uh, had the electrician come in and do new pocket lights because those were kind of old and janky looking. Another skylight, unusual. It's kind of weird seeing that, especially when you come into the house, like when it's actually dark out, you have moonlight coming through just kind of weird. It's like there's always a light on. Uh, here's a little back room. So we did the regular Home Depot two inch blinds. Um, really makes a big difference. Um, whether you've got new windows or old ones, it just makes the room look a lot more fresh and modern when you put those in. So I always try and do that. Got a backyard here. Lucked out and it already had a nice vinyl fence so all we did was pressure wash it and since it's been raining nearly every day in Florida now the yard is filled in I put down a uh, grass seed but before when we first got the house it was pretty much just dirt back there but uh, yeah it's a nice little cozy house I think it's like a little over 1100 square feet I'll take you out to the back uh, Steve also cleaned this tile out here which really turned out good once again all this uh, grout was like black and uh, as you can see it looks pretty much new so when he first sent me the pictures of it since it was all like glossy and everything because it was wet I was like dang that really turned out good another shot of the uh, backyard as you can see it's super cr uh, cloudy out been raining a lot but yeah, kind of a neat little, you know, back porch area. So, uh, which way are we going to go, right or left? We'll go left over here. Let's check out the garage. Pretty simple, basic. Just your run-of-the-mill one-car garage. Luckily, it had a newer garage door already. This I did replace uh, while the tenants were in the property because uh, like I've talked about in other videos, um, depending on the electrical panel, your house might not be insurable. So with the old panel in here, it wasn't insurable, so I had to go ahead and replace that. And it actually wasn't too expensive. I think it was like 1400 bucks with the permit and everything. So not too bad. It's got this cool kind of like um, industrial looking sink. Probably came out of uh, who knows, a hospital or some industrial manufacturing company. Somebody probably worked there at some point and they were changing them out so they put it in. Let's see, got a bathroom in here. It's just a toilet and a shower. Nothing too crazy. Um, I've noticed some of the houses in this area have this kind of thing where it's like a little half bathroom in the garage. Don't see it super often, but I do see it. All right, 
moving on, pressing on, starting to get a little dark. Um, let's see, there we go. That helps if you turn lights on. Oh wow, that was bright. Okay, there's a better shot of the kitchen and the floor. Let's go on down the hallway. So it's got a couple little closets. Nothing crazy, but nice to have a little extra storage. Um, again, we left the doors that were here. And actually we left the doorknobs too, because they were in good shape. I've got the little bathroom here. Flip the light on. So in here, didn't really change anything. It was all in good shape, just outdated. Um, did have the plumber come and switch out the sink because um, the porcelain was chipped off and it was rusted. So I just put in a new one, just regular shower. Nothing uh, too fancy. Little shower curtain. On to the master bedroom. Had the electrician put these lights in. They're nice, um, pretty slim looking LED that lasts a really long time. And uh, obviously paint, carpet. I think this wall was like really dark red. So I actually had my kids primer it. <laughs> Probably put like two, three coats of primer on it to get rid of the red uh, before the painters came in and painted everything. But it's good to teach them a little bit of stuff um, because it'll be beneficial to know how to do stuff when they're older. So you don't have to pay everybody to do everything. But uh, yeah, it's got these neat cedar backings. Um, since they were in good shape, we left them, but obviously if they were in bad shape, you'd probably have to drywall over them or just go ahead and remove them. Got the second bedroom, same light, it's just a standard little room. Same thing with the cedar backing. And uh, luckily we were able to leave these and just paint them white. I think all the doors were uh, just like wood color, if I can remember right. So, yeah, it turned out good. You know, simple. I mean, that's the biggest thing right now, the way the market's going. There's the living room. It's got this weird kind of like half wall thing. I When I bought this, I originally wanted to remove it, but the problem is they tiled around it. So. Unless I wanted to retile all this, just kind of stuck with it, so we left it. I mean, it, it might be beneficial to whoever moves in, and depending on how they have their furniture set up, but it's kind of a cool setup. I'll spin the camera around real quick and talk to you a little bit about what I think of the current market. All right, so my thoughts on the current market, it's a very weird market. You went a year ago from nobody wanting to buy anything. I remember selling houses in 2020 and I had like no offers, um, nobody was really interested, nobody was offering anything near asking. It's a really weird time and now you've got this like huge explosion with people going nuts trying to get a house. So same with everything, cars, boats, like people are just spending like crazy. So anytime that's going on, you kind of want to look at what other people are doing and maybe consider doing the opposite, maybe save a little bit more not buy that thing you were gonna buy that was a big expense because usually people uh, funnel into a trap. So if everybody's going out and doing something, you might wanna consider doing the opposite. So with that said, bought this as a rental, was gonna keep it as a rental, but when the tenants moved out, I was like, hmm, you know, I've gotta fix it up anyways to get another tenant in. So I'm like, let me just throw it up on the market for a high number and see what happens. And sure enough, to my surprise, not only did I get that high number, but they offered me over asking. So, and there were quite a few people interested in the property and wanting to make an offer. So I ended up getting over asking and I had already priced it high and it appraised for it. So it's a really weird market right now. And with that being said, I would say if you have any spare properties that you've been considering letting go of, or maybe you have um, not a good loan on it and it's not producing a good income as far as rental, you might want to consider just cutting it loose and uh, taking advantage of these big prices. Because to be honest, this house we're standing in right now, seven, eight years ago was probably 30 grand. I'm, I'm not even kidding because the market had tanked. So 
<laughs> as crazy as it sounds, this $30,000 house in seven, eight years is now selling tomorrow for $200,000. So if that doesn't, you know, make you think like what is happening, uh, I don't know what would. So just uh, tread lightly. Try not to get into anything over your head right now. And, uh, you know, if you're looking for a house in this market, just take your time. Eventually it'll cool down and eventually start, you know, prices leveling out as more buyers uh, kind of get overwhelmed with the amount of offers they're having to make on houses. Some of them are going to possibly drop out of the market a little bit or maybe wait and that'll make it to where inventory kind of starts to rise and we have fewer houses flying off the market. So when that happens, prices will start to come down. Also, if they raise interest rates, the Federal Reserve, that'll probably start to slow down the market. So just be patient. Only buy something if it's a deal. Try not to buy something at full-blown retail. Try and have some bit of equity into it, not only to uh, increase your net worth, but just in case the market does start to slow down and uh, head in a downward direction. But who knows? I mean, uh, it could keep going up. Um, I always figured 2027 was the year that we'd have a massive uh, dip in the market, uh, but with all the stuff going on in the government and how people are acting right now, could be sooner, who knows? So just my quick two cents, figured I'd throw up a video real quick before this house is gone. They're gonna do their final walkthrough tomorrow close tomorrow and we'll be on to the next house so appreciate you guys watching if you don't mind hit that subscribe button if you haven't already comment down below we'll uh, have a little conversation down there and if you don't mind please hit the like button and i will see you guys in the next video thanks bye